teams are waiting, the Jets are waiting, the NFL is waiting. Most importantly, we are waiting for the Aaron Rodgers news, and I'm sure that tops his list of why he wants to get that out there. Yeah. Um, we hope that we'll hear sometime soon about what's going on because uh, it alters the face of a couple of franchises. Sure does. For sure. And then you look at some other franchises that have a lot of decisions to make, and that's really pretty much everyone. James, we'll start with you. The Eagles have a lot of guys that potentially should be making some, some big money here. What are they looking at? Well, I, I think there's one domino that fell early that I think is a little bit out the door. They know that. They're expecting that. Mm -hmm. But I think there's going to be maybe one or two coming back that might surprise you. Mm. Give us the name of someone we should be talking about but we're not talking about because I know you're hot on somebody. I like it. Draymond Jones. Mm. Not because he's a Buckeye, but yeah. Sure. I also think when you look at the uh, the timing of the injury, so this is what stood out to me, is I was down around Chris Godwin. He had tore his ACL in sure. December, uh, like roughly a, a month and maybe some change right before OBJ. And then he came back. Um, I don't want to say rushed back because it was like this tremendous amount of work. He came back last season for the first game of the year, and he was effective. But I remember when we all went, we all went over to Germany, and that was like mid-November, and he was like, I'm just getting back mm -hmm. into feeling like I'm starting to be Chris Godwin again, okay. right? And so I look at OBJ, who's had this entire time off. He tore his like a, just a little bit later than him, and not having to go back. Cooper Cup was already there. He went there, mm -hmm. fit into the room well. Mm -hmm. The Rams were trying to get him back bad last season on that roster. We saw Von Miller trying to get him to Buffalo. So, like you said, that speaks volumes to him as a teammate. I look at that video and it says Prince and Mukamura on there. We need Prince's thoughts. They think that he's ready. So we need Prince, a former New York Giant himself, who was teammates with Odell. We need him to weigh in on where he mm. thinks he's going. Prince, hey, I know you're in Arizona. Please. You're living life. Yeah. Come to the show. Answer We're a FaceTime once in a while. Let, there you go. Yeah. We're going to have Get wedding stories during the commercial break. I need to hear about that. We had Micah Hyde from the Bills on here last week, and he was like, yeah, come, Odell, come to Buffalo. Buffalo come to Buffalo and we're like you think he and Diggs could be a thing and he's like ooh <laughs> he did a little bit of a backtrack to JP's point we'll see we'll always our stuff that Dev got to put it out himself and be his own source and 13 seasons one team three Super Bowls mm. one hell of a career I'm happy and excited it's for awesome him. I'm you happy you excited you feel good about it I am I'm fired up for him uh, the guy's healthy has shoulder surgery this offseason has to bang that thing around and his wife already said that she didn't want him to play again so I'll see. When yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Hey, just maybe Stafford's traded, Let too. You know? Let them Let all, all go. Them. Okay. Uh, listen, I, I like this because I, I, what I like is competitive atmosphere during training camp. I don't go to Tampa anymore since Sarah's there, but remember mm -hmm. once upon a time, sure. I lived there for a <laughs> yeah, extended remember. period of time mm -hmm. during this COVID situation. And what, some of these guys that are around there, I, I want to see them compete because I like watching Baker compete because of the way he's wired. Uh, I, listen, I'm thrilled about this. I, I talk about it all the time. I, I'm one of the last few true Baker Mayfield fans. I love the guy. I think... <laughs> Yeah. I think it's a more exciting league where I am. That's how premature oh. I am because it's March and who the hell cares? I love Baker. I hope he lands there. I think it's a good spot for him. Uh, it would be amazing for me just from a soundbite perspective because, you know, Baker is incredibly interesting. Yeah. He'll tell, mm -hmm. tell it's fun. like Feeling it dangerous. Uh, if you're Kyle Trask and you've had, you get drafted second round, coming out of Florida, you get to stay in the vicinity. There's mm -hmm. a lot of Florida Gator fans there. And then Tom Brady comes. And now if Baker may feel, you have to be like, Oh, where, like, where's my shot? I mean, this is where he's going to have to compete, and they've said all along you have to compete. I think it could be a really interesting situation for the Bucks because um, being down there, you guys would not believe how many Kyle Trask questions there are. Every really? Mm. I think it's just because he played at Florida. Like, what's Kyle? Uh, like, it was just yeah. so, like, there's so many questions. Not like.